uh, hello guys and welcome back to our second tutorial on uh, creating a phone dialer application as you saw um, we have created our layout already I will just change the uh, layout width to 20 dp for our X button uh, aka delete button uh, next uh, we're going to create one more variable for edit text and we're going to find the ID for the same variable which we forgot to do in our previous video but no worry uh, so uh, we're going to create a new method um, which will be implemented uh, in each of the uh, on click methods it's uh, pretty easier doing that uh, instead of uh, typing and repeating the code so let's start um, by creating one string which, which will contain um, text converted to string from our edit text and uh, we're going to add three parameters in our method one for button uh, second for uh, input number uh, aka edit text and third for string number so we're going to use the second parameter to set text to catch plus number and uh, let's import this uh, method in our uh, first uh, on click method for uh, button number one so we're going to add as a first parameter button one second will be input which is uh, edit text and the third is a string uh, for number one because this is a method for uh, number one we will copy the code in uh, each method we'll just change uh, the first and third parameter Uh, four five six seven and so on after you're done uh, change the first parameter uh, then change it to the third parameter which is a string so um, we've done that I'm sure it's everything clear now and next we're going to uh, code our delete method we'll set the text to uh, empty string and uh, our dial uh, method on dial uh, we'll say if input uh, get text and length is lower than or equals to 3 will display a simple toast message which is please enter the valid number this is just for the purpose of the tutorial you can edit this as you wish and in else block we'll add the intent uh, to call our um, our dialer we'll, we'll use uh, action call and then uh, we'll set data to uh, URI parse and uh, TEL two dots and plus of course um, our I will uh, type hash uh, don't you worry uh, you will find out uh, what the hash is and uh, now we're going to uh, create one string named hash and we are going to uh, get text and convert to a string and we're going to add one if block so if hash contains a hashtag then we are going to replace uh, the hashtag with uh, uh, one symbol you will see now with uh, percent %23 if you are wondering uh, what this is uh, well this is pretty needed because uh, in order to parse um, hashtag properly we need to replace it with uh, this symbol uh, otherwise it won't work and uh, at the end we're going to start our uh, activity intent and uh, we forgot to add one permission which we will add in a moment after that uh, Android Studio is informing us that uh, we need the runtime permission check we will use uh, generated code and uh, I will add else block 
um, to be clear. And uh, that's it. That's pretty everything uh, we needed to code in order to make a functional, uh, simple functional f uh, phone dialer. You can of course edit this code and make your your own application if you wish. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, follow my channel for more great videos.